Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to use my Annie Crafter. This is a V2 um, and we'll just jump right into it. So this is a decorated Annie Crafter right here for you to see and just so you can see the finished product and how it's going to look and uh, basically you're going to load up each one of these chests here with each one of the nine items. I'll just throw that up on screen for you right now so you could see that this one here is number one, this is number two, this is number three, four, five, six, all the way down and then you have your uh, flush button if you need to flush out the system in case you've made a mistake or anything like that and then you have your craft button over here when you hit that it'll begin your crafting sequence and drop your items off up here so uh, let's learn how to build it. So this is exactly how our finished product is going to look when we finish this tutorial in just a few minutes. There are a couple of things that um, I'll mention, you know, that you can kind of do at your own discretion. Like uh, if you want access to the crafter, I've put this little ladder in next to it. If you want to have this button, uh, this, this square recessed into the floor, you can. That's how I have it set up over here. But then also I have an example where it's sticking up out of the floor. Uh, whichever you prefer. Um, on my the server that I play with with my buddies I have it like this in the floor with the button sticking out and I just load these up like so and uh, get started. So that's it. That's all the preface. Let's get into building. So uh, we're just going to start and we're going to set this block right here to be an iron block to get started and then we're going to make a crafter face down into it so that it spits out into the hopper below it. All right, and to get started, uh, pretty simple. We're going to put a target block next to the crafter and then just a floor underneath, like so. We can get rid of that now. Um, and actually make it three by three. Um, we'll have a comparator coming out of here. Um, a block here. We'll have a block here, dust here, uh, a repeater here, and a dust here. And then over on this side, you want to put another crafter down, uh, click this nine times, so all the slots are, are clicked up. A uh, comparator, and a dust. And we have completed the kind of first bit. Um, then next is shift click to put a observer in there, and then get a copper bulb. Uh, let's go with the green one, why not? Put a green copper bulb in here, and this is going to be your kind of uh, craft station here. Uh, we've got to put another block on top here. Uh, put a comparator coming out of there. We'll need a note block. Note block. And we're going to put that against the comparator up here. So we're just going to put one hopper on top here, and then we're going to go nine hoppers back. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want to come out one on the side and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is our items in, and this is our items flush. Uh, and now we can take out a dropper. So we'll get a dropper in your hotbar. And we're going to place down nine as well. If you want to, if it's easier, you can place uh, blocks at the back row here. Uh, I typically do that if I need to. Just makes placing it down a little bit easier. And then if we place down dropper, 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 all the way up to nine, and we can get rid of those blocks. They're just temporary blocks. And uh, now we want to lock, or sorry, not lock, what am I talking about? We want to put an observer looking into our note block here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then nine note blocks running along the back of this here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, finally, then. I say finally, there's a lot more steps, it's not finally. <laughs> We're going to put uh, nine hoppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, followed by, this doesn't have to be barrels by the way, but I just think it looks kind of neat and uh, it's nice to have that bit of buffer there for your storage. So we'll put nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we'll go a hopper again into the back here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and take out your first 
shulker box. So uh, we can make it a. Uh, let's make it any color. So let's make it stand out a bit. And we want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this, if you don't know, is going to act kind of like as protection. So if you ever have a uh, redstone and you shouldn't, uh, you can't really allow items to flow into it or anything that might break it or anything like that. So for example, if a shulker box were to come in here, it would mess up our auto crafting. So what you do is if you place uh, the hopper going into a shulker box, what will happen when this shulker box breaks, it can't flow into the system. It'll get stuck in this hopper right here because shulkers can't go inside other shulker boxes. So if we go to uh, whatever, I, I like the, the brown shulker box color, I think it matches well with these. And then you would put this in here, and now when you break these shulker boxes, when you break these shulker boxes here, they will not go inside the, the system. And that's it, we've done it, we've actually, we're already up to uh, floor height, this is where the, the floor would be on the, on the crafter, this is what we were showing off, so you'd be walking along, this is what we saw at the start. Um, and what's next? We need to lock these hoppers underneath and we're going to use that and uh, we're going to use target blocks to do that. So I'm going to grab out some uh, target blocks here and I'm going to place one underneath our hopper and then eight more going all the way down so that they're locked to here. And uh, I think this one, this gets locked as well. Yeah, we'll lock that one as well, I'm 90% sure, and then we want to connect it up with dust. So we'll go down here along the way and just put down a line of dust. And then for the flush, right, we want to check basically, um, are there items flowing out of here? So we're going to have these locked. And when you do the flush, the items are going to start to flow into this hopper here. And so what we do basically is just check... Okay, well, are there items in this hopper? Well, then, yes. I want you to keep uh, keep flowing, then. Keep uh, keep it going. Don't stop just yet. So let's stick a repeater on here. And... Um, yeah, and then we'll just do, like, a comparator clock coming out here. So we want this going into the block. One, two, like so. Out of here, like so. Um... And then have this here. But we gotta cover that up. So yeah, you're just gonna cover up the wire here, snip that so it doesn't come off. And then when we put this in here. Okay, uh, sorry, just while I cut away there for a split second, I just broke this redstone and, and placed it down again to cause a block update because my torch had turned off. Um, so all of my hoppers are now locked. So if I put items in, it'll actually stay on. So what do we need next? We need the items to come up to us at ground level. So we're going to imagine we're standing here and we don't want to have to go down to get our items from this hopper down below. We're going to send them up in a dropper elevator of some sort. So let's come out a little bit. Uh, let's say to around here, so that's one, two, three. Are we free of the redstone here? I guess so. Um, and let's get some droppers. And if we put this here, let's see. Yeah, we're not touching any redstone, so let's, uh, I'll just go one, two, to do a little jump like this. We're gonna place droppers facing into each other. Uh, yeah, cool. And then come down here. I actually want to go one lower, so you're at the the level of the bottom dropper. And we're going to do the same circuit that we did for the crafter, except uh, we're going to use a note block in the place of the block that we used. Um, and I'll show you that now. So we used the block here last time, we're going to use a note block instead. Uh, that's just going to give us an observer uh, update so we can see this. I'll show you now. Uh, that's going in here, then in here, and then put that down here, get rid of that for tidiness. And then we want to have... Observer. Note block, observer. Note block. And then... Server. Server, observer. Is that going to work? Let's put an item in. Find out. Should get spit at the top. Wee! Awesome. Okay, so it works. Um, so now let's uh, connect that up with a hopper. So hopper going in there, in there, in there. Beautiful. 
And then we want to put down a barrel of some sort. And like I said, here is your floor level. Oh my god, I keep misclicking there. So here's your floor level. Uh, oh yeah, we need to create a, a flush button and a craft button. So if we go... Where's my lamp gone? Lamp. And like I said, I have mine sunk into the floor like that. But if you would like it uh, sticking out of the floor, you don't need to have it recessed in like it is here. You can have a button on it and it'll craft. And when you push it, it'll do what it's supposed to do. Or you could, uh, for example, put down a piece of dust and then put down the block and then have buttons all around, whatever you like, and do it that way. Uh, you could have an observer facing into it with a button on top, whatever really you wanted. Uh, you could you could make it work. Um, I'll do, let's just do the button sunk into the floor. And then for this one, uh, we need to power this block here so uh, we can do that by say going up two and one over so let's place down our, our target first so this is what I want to be the the button over here this is the flush button and when I push this I want it to flush so working backwards from that let's put a dust down here and now we've got a dust uh, going here. Perfect. So when I push this now, it should flush. It does. Excellent. I broke this block somehow. So, uh, yeah. Now when I push this block, the torch turns off down here. You can see here, all the hoppers get unlocked. I'm going to put an item. Um, I'm going to put an item in here once this locks again. So this is locked. I'm going to put a uh, copper bulb in. Nothing's going to happen. And you're like, oh no, I've dropped my, my copper bulb in there. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. How silly. Thank God there's a button right here. And in just a couple of seconds, it will send my copper bulb up to me. So you don't have to go down and empty out your crafter, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it. It's not very tidy. You can see the decorated version of it over here. Uh, like I said, you can make it look as as polished or as neat or as tidy or as technical or whatever as you need to. Um, you can have it go up into a double chest as well so you've you've more space for the items that you've crafted. Uh, you can add chests for more storage, it doesn't have to be shulker boxes. Uh, so if you wanted to fill this up instead of having shulkers here, you could have uh, double chests going along the way for more space uh, and that way you could store absolutely tons of stuff before you start crafting um, it's really ideal for if you needed to craft like you know 10,000 blocks for whatever reason or whatever it is that you're you're crafting uh, and then on this demo one over here I made this floor glass just so you can see what's going on underneath because sometimes it's cool to, to give the redstone a look but yeah that's it uh, please if you have any questions let me know uh, I'll try to add a schematic as well I try to remember to add a schematic uh, to this and uh, thank you very much for for watching hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you build this if you have any questions let me know anything at all fun fact of the day take care all the best bye bye